welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady Gamer, and today is another unboxing video. And just to let you guys know, today's a special, special unboxing because I got two boxes to open. Um, I decided, well, I really didn't decide, my friends decided for me, they were saying that I should do it, but I did it, so I decided, well, why not take the chance? So, I got my Walt Life box here, which is awesome, but the new box that I got to this time around is the Nick box. Let's see, make sure I don't get the shine. Yep, it's a Nickelodeon big O. Oh, it's a big box, guys. It's a big heavy box. I don't know what I got, but but yeah, it's a nice little box. It has Reptar in the front here. It's like a little treasure chest. It's got your Angry Beavers back here, and I think. Rin and Stimpy. This is like, like OG Nickelodeon. There's all real monsters over here. Try not to get the glare, guys. I'm sorry. And oh, and the and the couple from um, Rocco's Modern Life. I don't remember. I think they're the Toads or whatever, but I don't remember their names. But yeah, I got this huge big box from Nickelodeon, and this is all like. Stuff from back in the 90s, maybe some of the like the like early 2000s, basically when the show's pretty much ended. But I'm so excited because I grew up with all these shows. This was my, this was actually my generation of kids. So we're gonna see what I got in this big humongous box. It's very very heavy, guys. I I mean I'm like oh my god. I'm like I can barely almost hold it. Nah, not really. It's not that heavy, but it it does have some oomph to it, I guess you want to say. <laughs> but let me see how it might be fun. I'm going to try to figure out how to open this box. Because this is the first box I've ever gotten from them. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> Sit here and let's watch for like the next 20 minutes trying to figure out how to open a box. Right? That's going to be a great video, right? Well, I understand there's some stuff going on. Uh, maybe... Does this come out, or does any of this come out? This has to come out at some point. Oh my god! I want to open this right, guys. And I can't... I can't do that if it doesn't want to open for me! Oh, good god, guys. Am I being dumb, or... Is it going to tell me how to open the box? <laughs> guys, I'm sitting here for the next hour. Well, I'm assuming, okay, stuff's kind of opening, maybe, I don't know guys, ah, I'm probably ruining this box, so like, I'm assuming this comes out, <laughs> oh god guys, ah, oh well okay then, <laughs> well, I think I'm kind of opening it, well, well, we'll go with this way. I guess, well, oh gosh, does it keep going? Ah, okay. Maybe I just figured it out. <laughs> Good for myself. Um, it's like, oh my goodness, guys. I just screwed up the box. I think I just... <laughs> I think I freaking did. I don't know. What did I do? How the... Anyways, guys, we're going to sit here and figure out how to do this box again. Okay. Well, just stick over there. For now. We'll go with that. Alright, guys. But anyways, with me not trying to ruin everything... You know what? We're going to do it this way, guys. I'm putting it back together. Kind of. I don't want it to be still a box. I don't want it to be... There we go. I think we got it, guys. I think... Did I move everything out of the way? I think there was something else back here. Was there? I don't know. If I did, I did. If I don't, I don't. But anyways, guys. Might have to skip out some of this stuff. But anyways. This is what it looks like. There's no pa packaging stuff, but they got this like little cool 
just like Nickelodeon characters. Oh, and there's a little heart up here too. I didn't realize with Reptar. I said Helga. Helga loves Arnold, but yeah, that's a big box, guys. I got put down. All right, guys, let's get into it. So let's go. <laughs> well, the first thing I'm grabbing, aw, it's a little wall clock from, let's see, right there maybe? This little wall clock's from Rocco's Modern Life. A lot of people don't know about this show in particular. I wasn't really a big fan of it either, but I kind of knew of it, per se. So, that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be one of the excitement things in my life, but still, it's a Nick Box exclusive, so maybe you can only get it here. Built by Culture Fly. But, got a wall clock, guys. If everyone wants a wall clock, I might have to get some of this stuff and be like, hey guys, you guys want, want some? <laughs> Oh, let's talk some over there. <laughs> Alright, next thing that I'm seeing is... Aww, little cat dog vinyl characters. I knew of this show. Wasn't one of the biggest fans because I didn't think it was the greatest show. I thought it was a weird show. But, but yeah, I got a little collector's... Little vinyl collector co type of things. Yeah, cat dog... Some people like this show. I just wasn't one of them. So, but that's kind of cool. It's like a little figurine set. Maybe give it to some people that maybe might like cat dog. If you guys like cat dog, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I might give this as a giveaway. <laughs> but not one of my things that I want to collect. Not in a mean way to cat dog and to the people that are fans of cat dog. Sorry. But anyways, the next thing is oh. A t-shirt, guys. I got a t-shirt. <gasps> oh my god, I'm fangirling. I'm so fangirling right now, guys, because this was my show back in the, oh, back in the day. Ooh, it smells good. They, like, put, like, some orange stuff or something here, because I'm smelling orangey. It's like, no, oh, so here, smell the shirt, the orange smell. But, yes, guys, look at this. And it even has on the back here, it says, are you afraid of the dark? Yes, guys. This was my sh me and my brother's show. We love this show, and I wish they would come back with this show. But I love it, fangirling so bad for the Nickelodeon side. I love this. It's going to be my all-time favorite, 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 favorite shirt. I might be wearing it a lot. But, so, I'm so excited. All right, guys. Next thing we have, what is this? What are you? Oh, I think this is an air freshener. Yep, that's what's making it smell so orangey is this all oh, real monsters air freshener. Because <laughs> I was smelling and I was smelling the, the nice orangey orangey smell. But yeah, this is let's see if I can get closer, guys. This is so going into uh, let's see right there. This is going in to my car. I like all real monsters. That was another a show I really, 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 really enjoyed as a kid, but but thanks for the air freshener, guys, because smells the box smelled good, and now my shirt smells like orange. <laughs> but it's a good smell. I liked it, so I'm gonna have to remind myself to put that in my car. Not like my car smells or anything, but yeah. Uh oh. I don't know what this is about. It's an open box. It says reptar bars oh my god fangirling with with this but there's something sticking out so let's see what 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 are we getting oh it's a little plushy reptar bar <laughs> like an actual can't can't eat it guys it's not actually food but it's like a little replica of the reptar bar that is so freaking let me see if i can get close enough for you guys to see the details but look how cool it is you got the green stuff that comes out of it but yeah Love Rograts. That's my that was my show back in the day. And I like it. It's like a little thing. It was open, but I don't think it fits very well in this. I think that's the problem. <laughs> oh no, it does. Well it does, kind of. Well, somebody didn't do good on packaging. Don't know who that is, but I hope we don't lose a job over it. But yeah. Yeah, it has nutrition things. Oh my god, for, for one, just to let you guys know, for one Reptar bar, your calories are 172 with 9 grams of sugar. Well, I guess it wasn't that sugary, I guess. And then there's 33 carbohydrates. 
Hey, there's like 8% calcium in here. <laughs> if anybody wants to know. <laughs> but it's kind of cool to make it look like you're actually... It's actually like a candy bar, so I think that's kind of cool, but fangirling too, because I love Rugrats. Anything Rugrats? My shit! That was my, that was my show. That was the main show back in my kid childhood days was Rugrats. So hopefully we get some more stuff of that. Um, the next thing I see is a crumb candy dish. Oh, from All Real Monsters. Let's see. Let's see, let's see what it looks like, guys. I like All Real Monsters too, so I'm feeling great. Goes. You don't see a lot of things with um, All Real Monsters no more. You know, Rugrats is still kind of relevant in some ways, like because it was a very, very, very popular show back in the '90s. But All Real Monsters wasn't as um, as well known, I should say. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool. It might be, it might be at my Halloween thing. Oh, that is so adorable, guys. Got a little bit of the stuff, but yeah, that is so adorable. I love it. Let me get closer for you guys so you can see. But yeah, that's a candy dish. Anybody that knows All Real Monsters and Crumb, that's so freaking cute. It's a candy dish. Yeah, that's gonna be probably for a Halloween thing, or I just put it on my table. Who knows? But so basically, my house is gonna be slash Disney to slash um. Um, Nickelodeon stuff at this point. I think I put it back. Yep, I did. Right, I gotta put this down softly because it's breakable. We do not need to break it. It's pretty. It's so pretty, guys. Alright, next thing is... Oh, cool! I got a plate set. Oh, that is so freaking cool. I got a little plate set and it has Hey Arnold, Ren and Stimpy, Angry Beavers, and Rugrats. And you get to see the see the Angry Beavers. I'm gonna show the Angry Beavers. But yeah, I got a little plate new little plates now. That's really kind of cool to decorate with and stuff like that. But or just to have them like, you know, you know, spread across the um like as a decoration and maybe not used to actually eat off of. But but yeah, it's so freaking cool, guys. I like I like stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, find places to put stuff. <laughs> because I have nowhere else to put it. Um Next thing is a binder from, oh, it's from All Real Monsters. Okay, I think I remember. Yeah, it's like the book, of some, I think, of it, of the show. I think it's it's been a very long time since I've seen All Real Monsters, so it's, forgive me, guys, if I don't know exactly what all this stuff is. But, but anyways, it's an All Real Monsters looking kind of thing, and it, it's a little... Nice little binder you could take stuff with, but you can know it's yours. Has all this, the things of a binder and all that, besides the things you could put paper in. But as in, like, more like a carrying thing, like you could put stuff in and everything. It's a cute little thing. But I like the little design, like it's like a little book. But yeah, that's a really cool little binder. So excited. This is a really good box, guys, by the way. It's very worth it. And I'll put it down in the description of how to get a hold of this box. And the good thing is about this box sometimes is, depending on how you pay, but I pay for, like, like I think, like, 50 around $50 for this box. But it comes, like, not every month, but more or less, like, every three months or so. So it's not going to be... To me, I don't think it's going to break the bank very well much, but yeah. Oh my god. More of this. The Midnight Society. The, my, my, um, which we call it, my, oh, you afraid of, are you afraid of the dark stuff? But, um, let's see what it is because, oh, oh, that is so adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a little pen. That says official member of the Midnight Society. I am so fangirling. I love it. Love it, love it. I would love to be an actual member to that. I would like make sure I want to have this show come back and I want to be in that show. Because <laughs> I would so totally love it. Because I love horror or just scary stories in general. But this thing is freaking awesome. I love the little pin. Don't know when I will use it as much of wearing it. But it's going to be displayed proudly that I'm an official member of the Midnight Society. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be, well, 
besides the people that don't know what the Midnight Society is. I know there was something else in here and I think it got caught. Yes, it did get caught into the, like I was trying to put the box back together again. But um, I think that was it actually. Huh, I thought I'd pop many more, but um, oh, this just, this is just tells you all about it. Like a little postcard -y type thing, but it's not actually a postcard, but it has like a little stuff on it. And it tells you what's, what you've got in the, in your box. So basically, I think this gives you the picture that you actually got what they actually sent. This is like, I think it's a good idea to tell you what's actually in your box that you should have gotten a box. If you don't see it, then maybe you could tell them be like, hey, I didn't get the, I don't know, like the plates or something. I didn't see the plates, like, you know, so, but, but it's a cute little idea that they give you what's all in the box. And I think they explain it too. But, yeah, any good, okay, the, yeah, the organizer book knows that they need to stay organized, yeah. So, but yeah, that was the, the Nick box, that was box number one, and that was a very good box, and it was so freaking cool. I love, I enjoyed that box so, so much, but, so, yeah, so that was a Nick box, I'll put in the description all about that and how to get a hold of it and how to pay for it. I have to figure it out. I found it on um, a, a social media site, but and I was like, you know, and I was in there when I was talking to my friends about it. They're like, I'm like, I'm so contemplating on getting this box, but don't know if I want to, you know. But they're like, you just need to do it, just do it because, I mean, I looked into it and I was like, you know, it's all the stuff that I grew up with, and like, who doesn't want, like, especially for my generation, that who doesn't want um, memorabilia from like old, oh, basically OG Nickelodeon shows back from the 90s that was such a big thing. My only disappointment is, like, yeah, I understand all this stuff, but but I, I could care less about The Rock Was My Life. I don't know, but some people might like it. And I didn't care for the cat dog stuff because I'm not a cat dog and um, Rock Was My Life fan. So those didn't really excite me, but I wish I could have got maybe like one more thing from Rugrats because that was my jam. That was my show. I mean, I watched those episodes from from season from season one to like the last season, pretty much until the, like the I think the the teenage year of Rugrats. I watched every episode of Rugrats, and to tell you the truth, guys, I have to show you what what we have. I mean, you can tell how much of a Rugrat fan I am when um, I have both at this point. Season 1 and Season 2 of Rugrats. And slowly, I mean, we're slow, slowly getting all of them, but but yeah, that's kind of sad. So that could, tells you how much of Rugrats I fan. Um, but the thing is, I was more excited too was the Midnight Society because not a lot of people knew about Are You Afraid of the Dark? And that was like the coolest show ever. And I mean, there was I think there was like one episode that really freaked me out as a kid, but I tried to watch it now as an adult was the doll one. The doll one freaked me out as a kid. I don't know why, but it just freaked me out. I guess when the girl turned into a doll. But now as an adult, I was like, how was I even scared of this? But but when you're a kid, you have a really big imagination of what's going on. So, but yeah, that was the Nick box. Um, hope you enjoyed it. So we're going on to doll box number two. And for this one, we got to put on our Mickey ears. To get into the the spirit of of let me get <laughs> I have to get this like all figured out guys because it's like been so long since I wear these ears oh there we go now we are Disneyfied with our oh I hate this thing ah no just go you know, just no <laughs> we're just in here spend another hour just trying to put on ears <laughs> anyways that's better hopefully it won't fall. And where's my box number two? Box number two, the Walt Life box. I'm so excited, my Disney box. And then this time it's kind of look adds a little bit of weight to it, so I'm kind of excited what I got. And this time around we have different things on the boxes. We got Moana and the the little lobster crab thing over here. We got um, well, we got some stuff over here, and it said the special delivery. And it has a little Mickey hand. And to me, when I think about this umbrella, it doesn't show the exact 
thing, but when I think about this umbrella, I think of um, Mary Poppins. Um, and over here we got Peter Pan's hat, and um, I'm thinking these characters are from the Lion Guard. I'm not 100% sure. I don't quote me, but I think they are. I think like one's a hyena and the thing, but they look weird, but I think that's where they're from because it doesn't look anything, whatever. And over here you got like Alice in Wonderland stuff with the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat, but ready to open the Walt Life box. We got our Mickey ears on, so let's jump in to opening the box and let's see how it looks this time around. Is it about the same? It's about the same of the opening of it. You still got your little sayings and tells you how to do some stuff like posting and all that stuff but and all that but yeah so let's open the box okay gotta stay open we can't just be all closing and i says greetings thank you for the order the magic has arrived see you next month oh that's so cool that's the little message on the back here to me on the Walt Life, but they have the Adventure of Weights. So, oh, I would kind of like the little, kind of like you're going on a trip type thing, and it's kind of cool, but that's awesome. Different from the first one, so we're going to see what we got. Okay, and the first thing I got, so cute, and that's the first thing I see, is a little pop thing of Buzz Lightyear. These things I see around, but they're really kind of cute, but, but yes, I got a little Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I like Toy Story. Um, that was like the first Pixar movie that I saw as a child. So I was so, so yeah, I kind of grew up with Toy Story. So it's like, it's my little Pixar little fantasy dream, whatever. So it's, it's going to be always going to hold it apart to my heart. I always will watch any Toy Story because come on, who doesn't? want to watch their first ever like um their first Pixar movie and I understand there's some other ones out there but nothing's gonna hold dear to my heart than Toy Story I just love Buzz and I love Woody and they're just so good it's a good movie kind of made me sad when Andy went away to college I was like oh he had to go away but anyways what's, what's up with the got the nice little fluffy stuff <laughs> I don't know what to do with it I grabbed it and I don't know why. But anyways, we'll move it over. And the next thing I see, oh, that's so cute. And they must be watching me or at least know. I got some nail polish of Belle. Because, of course, I did mention in my last video with anything with Beauty and the Beast. It's my thing. And I got a little nail polish. I probably won't use these because, as you know, guys, I, I just to let you guys know, I do get my nails professionally done. So I haven't been using any nail polish. I still have nail polish all over my house, but I never use them. So more or less, these might end up either going to like uh, a young cousin of mine or anything like that, or they'll just stay in their thing and just be a decorative thing because, or I might give it away guys. So if you guys want some Beauty and the Beast nail polish, if you actually use it, let me know down in the comments because um, I just, I just wouldn't look. I just wouldn't use it, but it's a good gesture, and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I can, I can work with um, nail polish, but that might not be one of those that I actually, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, the next thing is the Rena's cool thing again, the bookmark. I'm not going to explain that one no more because you guys all pretty much know about that one. I might have to have a collection of bookmarks, I might have to start giving away bookmarks. But I see a little possible coin. <gasps> Yay! Our little coin. We got a different one, guys. Let's see if I get closer for you guys. Got another one. It's different, I think. Let me see. I have my other stuff over here. I haven't put it away. See how bad of a person I am of not doing that? I'm trying to figure out where it went. Where did it go? Zoom, zoom. Let's go. Where did you go? So... I don't know, but I'm thinking we got, I found them. So I'm thinking we're still spelling Aladdin. You think I'm, we're still spelling Aladdin? Because so far it's A-L. So I'm thinking we're going to have to, it is Aladdin eight letters. So we got A-L-A-D-D-I-N. 
right? Well, seven. Hmm. I have no idea. Well, what was the, where is my Walt life? I don't know. But we got an A and an L on the little thingies. So we gotta keep it up, guys, so we get all eight so we can go on this trip that I wanna take you guys on. Um, the next thing I see, I'm making sure I don't make a mess out of this thing. Oh, this is so freaking awesome, guys. It's a little, what is this? Is this actually just a journal? Yeah, it's like a little little journal and you got a little pin with it and you have your Marvel. It's for, oh, that's so freaking cool. The Disney Store 30th year, it says it right here, guys. It's the from the 30th year. That is so freaking cool. I don't know if it's this year. It could be this year too. But I love it, guys. I love this little journal. It's so cute. I could use the journal, anything to journal to draw down ideas for my trip ideas, what I want to do for my channel, like and stuff like that. But it is so freaking cool. You have a little, it has a little Mickey, like it says a little 30 on there, like a little tag to put on there. But it has all these other characters. You got Star Wars, you got your Pixar, you got your Marvel, and you got just Disney. And it kind of splends everybody together. This is adorable. I could use this and I would love it, love it to death. <laughs> but anyways, the next thing I see is, what are these? Oh, more, more the house guards. And they're both from, from Wally. I love this one. This one kind of came grew on me. I wasn't for sure about it at first when it came out. But this little movie, let me get you guys so I don't get glares maybe. This movie actually grew up, grew on me, so I enjoyed it so much, and it, it just became dear to my heart. I just loved it. I cried when stuff happened and all that stuff. Really good movie, guys. Um, I think I don't think there's nothing in the little paper thingy. Nope, there's no more. So. Yeah, that one was not exciting as much as the, the Nick Box, but I understand the Nick Box is because it's, you know, every three months they ship, so it might be bigger, so you get more out of it. As versus the Walt Life, I signed up for for a month, for each month, and, you know, and I only got, you know, so many stuff in it. But anyways, I love this one. I actually got a little collector thing that I would like and stuff, and I would like to get some more of those little pop art thingies, so... I'm excited and I like the little journal. The journal thing was really, really awesome. And what else did I get again? Oh, the nail polish. That was cute too. But like I said, I won't use a nail polish because I do get my nails professionally done. So it would be a waste to have sitting here. So most likely I'll either give it away to a family member myself that's young or it just be decorative. Or if you guys would love to have some, some of the stuff, I might give away some of the stuff that might not be what I would like but maybe somebody else out there might like it so who knows but anyway guys I hope you like enjoy this video and I will put the links down the, the the below for the Walt Life box and the Nick box so you guys could all enjoy your own magical and let me know if you do get one show me what you got and everything out of your boxes and if it was what you wanted and all that stuff so hope you guys enjoy the hope and, and I would love to see you guys reaction too but Anyway guys, please like and share this video and please subscribe and also hit that bell down there if you want to see more content from me and just and also just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!